My dad is my key advisor for Team Miley this season, and I'm really excited because I got an all-girls crew, and so who better to bring than my dad? I just love seeing in her and her natural element. Like, to me, music has always been such a big part of our life, and seeing her here, it's, you know, the the contestants, their dreams. She's part of that journey, and, and there's something magic about being here. There's something magic about the show, and, and to me, music changes everything. Again, I hate to be the old man that starts showing you tattoos, but <laughs> my first tattoo says music changes everything, and it really does, you know, and, and being here and being a part of the show, and her team is strong. Man, I, I think the hardest part of for her is deciding, you know, whittling it down because it's been just everybody has just been so stellar yeah he told me he does not wish to be in my position when it comes to actually sitting in the chair during the time at the battle because even now like you try to think in your head okay who do I feel like is strong but you never know until especially the, the until the artists are in front of a live audience also you never know if their nerves are going to take over if all there's so much to take in when someone's going to go into a battle and what else you could see them doing who has the most potential who also can be diverse who's kind of you know who's got that can kind of do a little bit of everything because i think also that something i've learned is you don't want your artists to do the same thing every single week you want people at home to feel like they're learning more about them every week that they're growing with them people love to get to know the artist and so i think to have something where my artists can grow. And, and that's kind of the hard thing, is saying, okay, well maybe someone is so talented, but I really want to work with this person because I can see their potential. Or just going with the obvious. Like, so it's not always about picking the obvious here. I think people have such, so many of my artists have such full potential and I just want them to live it up to that. There's not been a weak link. I mean, they're all just great. I mean, some serious talent on your team. I, again, I don't envy how you're going to start whittling that down. It's too hard. That's too hard. I like seriously, I only got to see my team in the blinds and then for half their performance, my chair is turned around and I don't get to even see them. You said the day to one of my artists, like the way you sing with your hands really tells a story. I didn't know that until I get to sit with them in front of the piano. So you don't know who's gonna just be an amazing singer and who's gonna be an entertainer. Who's someone that you're kind of drawn to watching because they know how to you know, move around on the stage or bring in the audience to feel like they're really telling them a story. It's so much that you miss with that chair turned around. Once you create relationships with the artist, it makes it even harder because everyone has a story. And we were talking about that today. Now, just even sitting around and feeling like they've been a part of this moment, they're like now part of my family in a way. It's even harder to think that, one, I could see them working with another coach. Them getting stolen also breaks my heart, but it's the best thing because then at least they get to continue this voice journey. But it's so hard to imagine someone that now has become a friend to me may still be a part of this show and still even make it to a finale but won't be with me and I can see what I would do with them. I know the songs that I would love to see them do. I would love, I love getting involved with like their styling and you know with hair and makeup and whatever that is and like putting together that total package kind of entertainer artist. So it's so hard for me to imagine any of these artists that we hung out with today not being on my team because now they're a part of our, they're a part of our family. I love the show. I love what it stands for. I love the dream, the pursuit of the dream, persistence, faith in that dream. That's all part of a, a journey of music. What a great, what a great dream to have, you know, to be able to write a song, sing a song, and that emotion translate to people around the world. That's what it's about. You got the waterworks going from Janice and Katrina. He, he brought tears. He brought the house into tears because I think with dad, the thing that I've learned most from him too is always like speak your truth. And I think I say a lot of things and I'm trying to fill the space and make sure everyone feels comfortable. But he waits until he, I feel like you just somehow, he's always had the gift of knowing what someone needs to hear.
I think that's one of your special gifts yeah. is he knows what people need to hear and somehow like I think that's why today it was you made the girls like when they felt what he was saying they started to cry because it was like exactly the medicine that they needed or if it was exactly like when you know he brought up trust he was like you should trust yourself you should trust your voice and that was something that she struggles with is like feeling secure in herself and her choices and like that's just something he's always done for me and for my siblings like he somehow he weirdly always knows the right thing to say at the right time like right when you need to hear it he gives you just a little piece of advice or something that you just keep with you and I think for this part of the, the beginning of that process to just build up people's confidence, not sit here and be a vocal coach. That's not what we're trying to do. That's not what I've ever, that's not my job as a coach. I find the coach too is also to strategize the game, right? So that's kind of my job more as a coach is to say, how do I get you as close to that win as possible? But you're already a great player. So I don't have to teach you how to sing. You're already a great singer. That's why you're on the stage. That's why you're here. So I think for me, it's mostly just trying to keep my artists in the game as long as possible, um, rather than to tell them what they're doing wrong. Tell them all the things that they're doing right. A trying time is no time to quit trying. Mm -hmm. This is the most trying time. This is like, this is some of the most, this is, this competition, it shouldn't, as much as we always say, don't let this feel like a competition. This is just another experience in your life. It's easy to say when you're on the other side, but when you're in it and there's so many other artists and you want to win so badly and you want a record deal or whatever it is, don't think of this as the time to, if you ever get down or to give up, but to always keep trying. So that's something I've always remembered you say. A trying time's no time to quit trying. I think the um, common denominator for me is the music. These are all people that love music, and that's my passion. That's one thing about us, like, we, we would listen to all styles of music, and she might play something for me that I've never heard before, and then I'd go back and maybe find some stuff, and we, we would just, sometimes we'd get hooked on a song. You became the biggest Michael you know, Made It fan. Yeah, we would just- Don't listen to anything. Just things that, we just love all styles of music. There was never any division or between any. I, I always love learning new styles and hearing new things. And, and then it's always a beautiful moment to go back and revisit what you fell in love with in the first place, you know? Like the girls, they sang Etta James, you mm -hmm. know? It's like thinking the days of us driving to the set and us we listening to, to Etta James. And, we got in a thing where we was listening to Etta James and Johnny Cash nonstop. Yeah, and Eva Cassidy. Just, yeah, Eva. I remember mm -hmm. that so much driving to work. But we listen to everything. If I think something is cool, it doesn't matter what it is, if it's rock or if it's hip hop or whatever it is, great music is great music. People telling a story, or that's what we love. That's country music. Everything is country music. If you're telling the story and if you're telling the truth, that's what country music is. I think she's in her element. You know, it's music, it's passion, it's love of people, their dreams, pursuit of happiness. That's everything she stands for. You know, no rules, no limits, no preconceived notions, tear down the walls. It's about building bridges. That's Miley. <laughs>